Welcome back. Uh, all unloaded. I made a bunch more uh, 12.7 millimeter ammo. And uh, I used some sugar bombs to make some, and some Abraxo cleaner to make some Ultra Jet, which uh, jets the drug that gives you more action points for bullet time, which I don't use enough. And uh, sprinting and. Uh, that. So, whenever we're not action points. Oh, there's one of the dead guards that I killed. I wish I'd looted him before I went home. Oh, and notice I'm breathing fine. I actually made my rebreather and left the cheat one that I got uh, at home. The cheat one that I got also added resistances, and this one looks a little different. If I can zoom in. more uh, rough than the other one, and it's got a little thing behind my head and everything, but yeah, so <coughs> that'll help me breathe underwater. Uh, what I'm going to do now is head up and see if, and I, and I, by the way, I did not find any recipe to craft that uh, advanced healing powder that I made, or that I bought, uh, so it doesn't look like I can make it on my own. I've got a little freeze up there. So I don't remember whether I went by and put these couple of guys out of their misery or not. And I'm going to see if I can... If I did... Yeah, I already did. So there's this guy that I just can't free. And I'm going to see if maybe now... Did I check this? Yeah. Let's see if there's... Now that I freed the other guys and killed everybody... Pick up some little quest item if I can set Anders free. He just says hello. Well, that's just nice. <sighs> so weird. Please help me. I know the Legion did it to you. I know please. you're smuggling drugs, and I would like to let you down. No, but... please don't leave me here. Okay, I don't want to leave him here, and I don't want to kill him. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and look up online if there's anything you can do with Anders. Okay, this is royally stupid, but uh, apparently I have to be on a quest to be able to let him down. He works, he's a great con, and he works with uh, Jack and Diane, who we met earlier. And until we get to a point where she asks me to, uh, to go save him, I can't save him. So, it's kind of ridiculous that... Uh, Usually Bethesda games are good about if you do stuff out of order, um, <coughs> letting you, uh, why am I running back here? Letting you, uh, you know, complete the quest and then later when somebody asks you to do it, you can say, hey, I already did it, or the quest person recognizes, oh, thank you for doing that for me, uh, instead of telling you to go do it. But, at any rate... As cruel as it sounds, I have to just leave him sitting on that cross for a month or so until... or a couple of months, however long, until I go deal with those great conquests, which is pretty low on my priority uh, list. So, alright. So my plan now is to go and... Uh, let's look at the map here. Uh, I'm gonna follow... Uh, let's see, do I want to follow the road? I'm going to follow the road to see if there's anything on the road. Back to Camp Searchlight. And I remembered at Camp Searchlight I also need to uh, to loot that cornucopia place. I never did that. Uh, and then it... Uh, then I want to go check out that coyote mine and any areas near there. I'm looking to see if there's anything interesting off to the right. I think once we get up to the top of this hill, I've already been along the road. Yeah, I have, at the water tower. So maybe... Yeah, I'll head up around here and see if there are any other locations. So I want to go around the... Uh, um, radiation anyway. 
Oh, I should be sneaking just in case. I think we've killed just about everything in this area, but you never know. Still got some of those Joshua trees that are messed up. Not sure what to do about that. There's a radio tower off in the distance. Oh, this is some uh, like coyote stuff. I don't have much of that the tobacco. Okay. Well, let's see if there are any areas. be discovered in here without dropping way down or doing anything crazy. What's this down here? Anything here? Whoa. That is a steep drop off. Oh, there's more uh, tobacco. Uh, okay. Ah, can't jump up there. There, and now I can jump. Let's see. There we go. Had to jump from further back. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like there's much here, and I do not want to drop way down. It. Oh, wait, there's another tobacco, though. Follow the plants. The plants usually lead you to interesting things. So let's see, hopefully I can get back up. I was not going to go down in here. But, here I am chasing plants. And like I said, I'm not chasing most of the mainline plants, but I just don't have many of those. Is there anything down in here? This looks way too interesting a terrain feature for there not to be a location here. I mean, it's kind of got a ready-made path. And there's smoke and stuff. And is that another tobacco over there? Is it just a regular plant? It's a regular plant. That's really hard to see with this night vision stuff on. Alright, how far am I going astray on the map? Okay, I'm all the way... okay. Yeah, let's see, I'll follow this to the water. Just to see if there's something there. Looks like just a back way into the Caesar area. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else down here. Okay, it was just an alternate way to sneak up on them. Alright, now how do I climb? Oh man, I cannot see at all. And I'm already at level. Man, this is Max. Uh, and Starting uh, combat. Just, Just kidding. Not funny. Maybe I should have slept longer when I was at home. Okay. Well, so much for following the road like I was going to do. I guess I'd, I had followed the road as far as I had not seen, so this is good. Ooh. What is that? Two different places that look like locations. Let's go check these out. It says they're friendlies up there. Here I'm on the map again. Yeah, back in here was where the 
slaves were supposed to be. I don't know what this is. Is this radioactive water? Yep. What's in there? Oh, there's a reflection of the moon. It's too shallow to... Are you kidding me? Okay, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get back out. Okay, so... What are these? Are these xander roots? No, they're just random little plants. Okay. Let's go see what these friendlies are. It's radioactive. That's kind of weird that they're friendlies and are radioactive. Ranger Station Echo. Okay. Can I get in? Oh, here's somebody. Oh, he's a... He's a ghoul. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Okay, so Edwards is worried that they wouldn't take ghouls, and... Here we go, we got a... Ghoul right here. You the same ghoul? Okay, well, you're... No name. Got a name? Hey. Calm Officer Green. Gotta wonder what the hell a civilian <sighs> is doing here. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna... Yeah. I've got my light on. I'm gonna turn off my night vision so I can see his face. Alright. <clears throat> what do you want now? What is this place? Ranger military outpost. We're keeping an eye on the Legion activities south of here at Cottonwood Cove. Nothing going on down there at the moment. Just the usual slave trafficking. Poor bastards. Um, no, they, uh, are dead. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Rangers are tough nuts to crack, though. And any force small enough to launch a surprise attack isn't going back in one piece. On the other hand, if the Legion goes for a full-scale attack, we'll see them coming, fall back, and wait for reinforcements. So we know what they'll do, and they know what we'll do, so we just sit around and keep an eye on each other. Believe me, I would love orders to take Cottonwood Cove apart and kick the Legion back across the river. But the brass at McCarran doesn't want us to waste resources on something they consider a minor target. So we just get to watch. I already kicked him out, dude. Yeah. It's nice to know that you're watching close enough to know that they're all dead. Every stinking last one of them. Okay, so... Ranger I don't Erasmus. remember getting informed about any new transfers to this post. Not a transfer. The Legion's got a major crossing point down at Cottonwood Cove, so we keep an eye on them from up here. You know, if McCarran would send us some more men, we could do more than watch. Well, I've done more than watch, and you guys seem clueless. Skirmishes, mostly. The Legion raiding parties usually fall back when they know it's us they're up against. The Legion's been sending raiding parties across the river in larger numbers lately. We don't have the men at this post to intercept them all. I just did. God, Carry you on. guys are annoying. You should at least recognize that, hey, uh... Are you the bastard that just killed them all? So I'll let them die. Alright, uh... Well... Everything here is stealing. I don't want to side with the NCR, but I don't want to thieve from them or go against them at this point. Ah, you idiots. Okay. Crank up the night vision again. And turn off my pit boy light. Alright, and figure out how the hell I get out of here. Oh, there's that... Wow, I came far enough that I'm to where that tower is already? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about getting up there. Okay, is he just another regular ranger? Yeah. And I got a little outhouse I can... Yeah, might as well. And take a dump. Don't mind me. Alright, now I feel refreshed and ready to hit the road. Uh, I can't climb up over that. Oh. 
Is there a crack in the fence there? Yeah, there is. Okay, so I can go up this side. <sighs> I hate this darkness. Okay, how far north am I of the coyote? Okay, let me cut down to coyote mines. There's no point in going that far north yet. I'm just... I don't want to leave gaps. Okay, this is where I stopped to go down chasing the tobacco. Okay, I should start sneaking again. If there were ghouls by the mine before. Okay, is this the mine? No, that's it further up the road. I think this may be near where I saw that fighting when I accidentally killed the NCR guy that one time. Or accidentally shot him. And then all the rest became hostile. Okay. How do I get in here? Oops. Is that door to Coyote Mine House? There we go. Nobody ever notices me, but they notice the pit boy light. Yeah. God, it's so dark inside too. What is what's up with that? Can I open that? No. Bunch of the stuff that I shouldn't take, but oh, a harmonica though. I don't have many of those. I could use for making some of those things that need springs or some of the weapon mods. All right, it's upstairs. sleep in these beds? Yeah, I can. Two hours. Alright, at least outside it ought to be light now. Yeah. That's more like it. So is there any other entrance? Is that all there is to that little place? kind of disappointing. All the ghouls outside, I figured there'd be an actual mine. Is there an actual mine entrance and I'm just missing it? Prickly pears over here. Oh no. Okay, the game crashed some for some reason when I went outside in the morning. Uh, and then I realized when I came back in here, there was a whole little kitchen area and stuff that I just did not even see or check out. And it's still freaking dark in here, even with my light on and two levels of night vision. Just don't get it. Rider BB gun. Okay, I don't think there's anything important here, but it seems like there should be a mine entrance somewhere, and there's 
No stairs or anything here. It's just the mine house. So I'm going to go in ahead and sleep again up here after I grab all the little doodads. Anything else on the beds? Wasn't there a footlocker or something? Here it is. Okay, I guess I grabbed everything. Duffel bag. Okay, empty. Okay, sleep on the top bunk this time. And let's sleep two hours. Oh, not seven hours. Two hours. There we go. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright, save. Yeah, I came over to pick these and it just crashed. Alright, let me look on the local map and see if there's any... Oh, there's a dumpster too back here. I checked. Can't remember if there's anything in it. A uh, couple of little things. All right, and so the local map. Uh, any other cave entrance? No. Just a mine house. I guess there's an area ahead and to the right that I have not checked. Yeesh. Visible walls. Are you kidding me? The shoot programmers that put invisible walls in games. There's nothing that ruins immersion more than that. I don't mind if I'm at the edge of the world like I was a few episodes ago and maybe somewhere that they didn't plan on people going or didn't test fully. But for crying out loud, right next to a map marker location, there should not be an invisible wall. Uh, I can't... <sighs> There's no slope that's letting me jump. That's almost as bad as an invisible wall. Uh, okay, so... I'm guessing there's no mine. Oh, hey, Ed came from that direction. I'm guessing there's no actual mine then. And the soul, could this be it? Door to Coyote Mine. There we go. Now, I guess I didn't need to sleep for night because it's just freaking pitch dark in here. Alright, let's sneak. weapon out. I am sick of total darkness. Is it better if I change the color? No. Not much. Turn it off back here. There we go, there's no burning stuff. Nobody ever notices me, but they notice the pit boy light. Yeah, well, I can't notice shit without the pit boy light on, so you're gonna have to put up with it, honey. Cryolator. What is the cryolator? Is that guy friendly? Uh, hello. Data missed. Oh, I never read the. Oh, I must have gotten Ultra Jet somewhere. That's why I was able to make it. I, I looked through for recipes, so I must have picked it up somewhere. Found some notes. Aurelius wrote detailing troop members in the area, lists of slaves in East, and general communications with Caesar. This allows me to craft a cryolator. Well, I have no idea what a cryolator is. I'll have to make Good it. Good boy, lights on. on. Is that guy hostile? No. Okay, so. None of this stuff is marked as stealing, though. Whoa, what was that? 
liquid nitrogen. Could be a component in making a cryolator. Check this, yeah. Okay, so. Wakey, wakey, who are you? Howdy. That's it? Just howdy and go back to bed. Okay. I'm good with that. At least you're not shooting at me. Okay, so... Was there a fork in the path at some point? I think there was right near the beginning. Okay, so which way have I gone? Local map. Okay, this is the way back out, so there's another way around here. And I'm assuming since there's just a friendly dude who thinks it's okay to sleep, that anybody else that's in here would be friendly too. Oh, lots of dynamite. dinner. Is that it? And then... Ah, Ed! Get out of the way, Ed! Okay. So it looks like... Oh, well, let's see. Is this a new direction or not? Yeah, this is a new direction. So let's keep going in a new direction. shelf. Okay, now let's see. Alright, I guess we've did this whole place. So, I think it's 6 a.m. and not overloaded. I'm gonna, uh, in the episode when I make it back out the the door. I think I'm headed the right way. Is this back out? Yeah. And then keep going this way. But uh, yeah, and then we'll try to head back down towards uh, towards the uh, where the. NCR guys were, that end was where I needed to uh, loot the cornucopia store. And uh, turn off this stupid night vision since it's morning. And I'm headed back to see if we can loot that last uh, store. I'm going to check in with our see our buddies to see how things are going with them. Alright, so they're down to our left here. Patch of radiation there. We're getting they're ready to go into the big radiation zone. Wow, they're a little closer to the radiation than they usually are. I think. Starting oh, combat. Just kidding. Uh, funny. There he is, First Sergeant Aster. Back. What can I do for you? Oh, the Rangers at Echo have been keeping an eye on that place. It's relatively new, but those bastards have already dug in. They appear to be running a slave trading operation, and it also seems to be one of the primary crossing points for Legion raiding parties. If you could scout out the camp, Bring back any intel on troop movement or plans for future raids. The Rangers could put that information to good use. And also, if you're any good at covert ops, I would love to get a bug planted on their radio. So far, we've been unable to crack their encryption. Yeah, I already took care of the camp. Good, it tells what? me that. How'd you pull it off? 
I'm a badass. That's how. A single woman slaughters an entire camp of legionaries? Oh, that's priceless. Considering the way Caesar treats women, that should really put some doubts into his troops' minds. Wait till the rangers hear about this. You've done a fine job, friend. Here's a little something for your work. Why do you have green lips, dude? And tell the rangers they're idiots, because I talked to them and they didn't even notice. Uh, bye. All right. I am now accepted with NCR. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't really want to be accepted by them. All right, I'm going to pop a rad X. Uh, items aid. All right, and I'll go in. I'll show you the store briefly, and then I'll probably pause the video to do all the looting, because you've probably seen me loot stuff enough times that you're sick of it. Oh, what is this? What's this store? Oh, it's the backside of a you've store. You've done a good turn in. for the NCR, and now we'd like to do oh. one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Alright, I don't know about the... I think I want to call for your help. Take care of myself. Mm, kind of condescending. Um, now it almost makes me wish I had kept that one where I accidentally shot the NCR guy, but I don't want to start trouble without him. So here's Cornucopia Fresh. And I'll give you an idea of the stuff that's in here. There's fruit, booze, uh, money. All kinds of food, lots of barbecue sauce. Uh, what we got in the back here? Go upstairs. The lights you can see a little better. Uh, more little smokes and stuff. Well, somebody lived up here with a kid. And the kitchen area and a bathroom with nothing up on the toilet. So, I will see you when I'm done looting. Okay, uh, came back to the house, dumped everything off, and this time I moved all my stuff. I went out and put it in the uh, Mojave Express and shipped it to Good Springs. I'm not actually doing the selling yet, but I cleaned out that little toolbox. As far as new decorations, this little teeny thing here, the little slave collar for freeing those people, is my one uh, the, the, the one little new decoration. Uh, I did a completely new, uh, well, not completely, but mostly new build out of uh, weapons. Uh, I've now got Vance's submachine gun as my uh, number one weapon. I've still got the Gauss, which I've not been using, but my security blanket. This is the cryolator, and notice it's building up sort of like the other stuff. This was a weapon that I got the little schematic for, and it looks like a homemade weapon. It's kind of neat. You can see the some of the parts that went into it, the uh, crutch and uh, some of the little tubes and whatnot, and there's a big uh, case of the liquid nitrogen on my back. And uh, this is the opposite of a flamethrower. It, uh... Shoots out freezy stuff. I accidentally shot Ed with it, testing it before. But, uh, anyway, it's kinda neat. So I got that, and then, uh, old standby. Light Shining Darkness and the Christine Sniper Rifle. And I'm only bringing one Sonic Emitter, the... I hadn't been using either. But I'm not bringing the damage when I'm just bringing the one for paralysis, just in case. And my old fist. And, uh, I was thinking about bringing, uh, uh, you know, another weapon along. But, uh, you know, in the end I decided, let's travel light. I'm not using most of my stuff. Pretty much the same. I got scientists scrubbed down instead of Bright Brotherhood for, uh, carrying that for the, uh, thing just to be different. Uh, my jumpsuit, the glasses, wearing my breather. It's 
Got the stealth suit. Got a teeny bit of food. Got a lot of my drugs. Put up some of my drugs. And uh, not a lot of miscellaneous items except for that I'm still carrying all the weightless uh, thing. Ooh, medical clipboards and metal cooking pan are two things that I meant to put away. So I'm glad I noticed that. But anyway, this has gone a little long. I just wanted to give you the update at the end of what this was. So the next one I could hit the ground running and I got plenty of ammo for everything. I made some jacketed soft points to do more damage for, for my uh, uh, sniper rifle. And I got a bunch since it's a machine gun that depends on uh, things for the 9mm. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much good to go. So uh, I will see you in the field next time. Thanks for watching.